Yeah, so our cry is still dirty, and no matter what politicians or government do or say, it's like they are throwing dust in the eyes of people. When it rains, the flood exposes how dirty or the filth in Accra. However, a group of young guys called Bastard Boys are really doing a yeoman's job. Myself, I've seen them on social media, and also Shatawali has also, you know, waded in to support the guys. I'm here to give you guys the update on the daily update show right here on Other Day GH TV. So, if you're new here, can you subscribe to the channel and also like the video and also share the video with your friends and lover? Yeah, so without much ado, let's go straight to the update for today. Yeah, so Shatawali. Even though Shatawale, you know, it's, you know, having some banter with Stoneboy, you know, concerning this uh, show that was cancelled in the University of Ghana, Legon. He's still, you know, continuing with his corporate social as well, the CSR. Yes, yeah, so Shatawale, you know, has a company, you know, has companies, and therefore, um, he even though he's rendering services to, you know, the people of Ghana, he also deemed it right that where they need fit for help, for him to support uh, with the profit he has made from his business, then he has to jump in. Like I said earlier, our cry is dirty and every time it rings, just some little drops of rain and then everywhere, some parts are flooding, you know. It has to do with the fact that the gutters are choked. And you ask yourself, what's the Ministry of Sanitation doing? It's very sad in this country, you know, just just a small amount of rainfall will render some people homeless, you know, will destroy properties and all that. And it's very, very sad. However, like I said, a group of young guys called Bastard Boys are really doing a human's job. Right? So I've seen them on social media, you know, the certain choke gutters, you know, reading places, you know, guys, they are really doing a very good job. You can check them out on social media, Bastard Boys. Myself, I've also seen them on the Aoshi, at Blake Mapokwasi Highway, where I saw them weeding, you know, the grass, like the weeds at the edge of the road, so in the middle of the road, because... When you're driving at night, you can't even see forthcoming vehicles. And also, when people are crammed, people cross in between the roads. So, if you are not very careful, you're not familiar with the road, you might end up hitting a pedestrian. However, the guys actually went there to read the place. They really, really did a human's job. And like I said, I totally have seen the works of the guys. And Good news all over. Um, Shata Foundation, led by CEO Shata Owale, aka Charles Yama Mesa. We are seeing the good works that these guys, the past of guys, are doing. And as a matter of fact, knowing that he is someone who is an enabler of the youth, he doesn't want to sit down for them to do it alone. He decided to raise some funds, got some amount of money. And today, here in Alajo, Shata Owale will be coming here to present the money to them and again to encourage them that what they are doing is a good thing that society is monitoring therefore they should be encouraged and to also tell other people that this is a good cause in your area in your community all over Ghana you can also start a group like this to achieve the same thing that we are talking about cleanliness is closer to godliness so as a matter of fact if someone is cleaning then it means the person wants to take us to God so Shatawale and his Shatta Movement team as well as his Shatta Foundation everybody is coming here for us to do this today and we are also grateful for the support that others give to him as well and we are even calling for more support um, today Shatta Foundation is active and any anybody at all who would want to support him and what he's doing for him to be rich wider audience why not? We are open. Let's see how much you guys can support. Thank you. Thank you.
fine the guys need support like they need massive support and this can be uh, or this can serve as a, a medium to employ people or to reduce unemployment because once they have the funding they can employ it more, they can employ more people that the youth to help them in you know distilling the children so cleaning you know um Ghana. i'm sure they are not really focusing on accra but since accra is where you know when it rains the floods you know okay the most they are focusing on accra and i'm sure with time when they expand they're going to look at other regions as well this is where the ministry of foundation has to come in to support you know uh, uh, um, stakeholders need to come in to support and not you know chop chop money any anyhow anyway hey guys so let me share with you so that is team you know um shutter movements and it's you know uh, the crew actually do all the way to where the guys were located and they went there to make a donation of thirty thousand Ghana city to help the guys you know to acquire tools and also if they need to, anything that that will support their work they use the money to do so and all that and guys certainly went with definitely a convoy you know certainly anyway storms people places people will come and the crowd was crazy he met the the leader of the bus stop um boys um crew or company we made a presentation also urge them to continue with the good job they are doing to keep you know the country clean yeah guys without much let's hear let's watch um yeah guys without matter let's watch highlights of chatawale's you know presentation or meeting up with the bus stop boys to encourage them and yeah guys so you saw chatawale's donation there and also um it's worth of encouragement let me your thoughts comments and opinion in the comment section and let's get interactive in there and so to we've come to the end of another episode of the daily update show right here on that jhtv if you're new here, you can subscribe to the channel like the video so share the video with your friends and love and see you guys in the next video peace